The first element in the receiver of a digital communication system is the demodulator. In this video, we will analyze this element. And the receiver of a digital communication system has two elements, the demodulator and the detector. Here, we are going to analyze the demodulator that is the element that process the received signal, the signal that we have at the output of the channel, to convert this signal in a sequence of vectors, the sequence Q of N. These vectors will contain the vector description of the received signal. Now we will analyze this in detail. The demodulator will process the received signal, the signal that we have at the output of the channel, to convert this signal in a sequence of vectors. These vectors contain the discrete time representation of this received signal R of t. Therefore, at any discrete instant n, we will have an n-dimensional vector. The n coordinates of the received signal in the orthonormal basis that is used in the transmitter with a dimension n in general. The process of the received signal is piecewise. The vector that we have at discrete instant n contains the vector representation of the received signal in the symbol interval of index n, which is in the time interval between n times the symbol duration time capital T and n plus 1 times this uh, duration capital T. This is what we have in this vector q at discrete instant n, the vector representation of the received signal in the symbol interval of index n. To obtain this vector representation, it is necessary to compute the inner product between the received signal and the n elements of the orthonormal basis, but delayed n times the symbol duration time. This is because the support of the elements of the basis is from 0 to capital T and we need to process the signal in the symbol intervals of index n and then it is necessary to shift the uh, elements of the basis, the functions phi k, to be in this interval. They must be shifted, they must be delayed n times the symbol duration time. Taking this into account, the kth coordinate of the vector representation is obtained by the inner product between the received signal and the kth element of the basis delayed n times capital T. The integral in the symbol interval of the product between the received signal and the kth element of the basis complex conjugated, if this is a complex signal, and delayed n times T. The first alternative to implement a demodulator is to use a correlator. This is a direct implementation of the definition of the inner product. The received signal is multiplied with the complex conjugated and delayed kth element of the basis, and then the integral of this product in a symbol interval is computed to obtain the kth uh, coordinate of the signal in this symbol interval. This is the implementation of a demodulator by correlation. But it is also possible to implement the demodulator by using matching uh, matched filters. The kth coordinate of the signal in the symbol interval of index n can be obtained by the inner product. Here we have modified slightly the definition of the inner product by changing the integrating variable from t to tau because of notational convenience. It is possible to filter the received signal with a filter with a given impulse response hk of t. The filtered signal is the convolution of the received signal with the impulse response of this filter, and here we have the equation for the convolution. Now, this filter can be a matched filter, a filter matched to the response of the kth element of the orthonormal basis, if we replace hk here by phi k complex conjugated here and uh, time reversed, here we have the expression 
for the filtered signal. Just an uh, evident expression from the definition of the convolution. If now we compare this expression with the expression that we have here for the kth coordinate of the signal in the symbol interval of index n, the only difference is that instead of having the time argument here, we have here n times the symbol duration time. This means that it is possible to compute the kth coordinate of the, of the signal in the interval just by evaluating the filtered signal at n times t, capital T. So we can filter the received signal with a filter that is matched to the kth element of the orthonormal basis, and then we can sample at multiples of capital T at the beginning of the symbol interval of index n. This is the implementation of a demodulator by using matched filters. If we now consider the implementation of these matched filters, it's necessary to take into account that the support of the elements of the basis is from 0 to the symbol duration time. This means that the support for the matched filters, taking into account the time reversal that we have here, is from minus capital T uh, to 0. This is a non-causal response. In fact, it is an anti-causal response it is not possible to have a real implementation of a non-causal response. However, it is easy to obtain an equivalent, uh, an equivalent response just by introducing the necessary delay to convert this response in a causal response. In this case, the delay is equal to the time symbol duration capital T. If we introduce the causal filter with a delay capital T, then the filtered signal is also delayed by, a, uh, by the same amount, capital T seconds. And this means that now the sampling instant must be delayed a symbol interval. Now the sampling instant is not at the beginning of the interval, but at the end of the interval. This is the implementation of a modulator with causal matched filters. We filter the received signal with a matched filter, and then we sample the output of this filter at the end of the symbol interval. Finally, here we have the block diagrams for the implementation of a demodulator in a n-dimensional signal space with a bank of correlators, n correlators, a correlator per element of the orthonormal basis of dimension n, or a bank of matched filters. Matched filters for every element in the orthonormal basis that theoretically can be non-causal but that in a practical implementation these filters must be causal and this means that the sampling instant is delayed to be at the end of the symbol interval.